Many of my viewers have asked me about the Hewlett Packard or HP USB-C G2 docking station versus the G5 docking station and why I chose the G2 to work with my Apple products. Of course, that being the, the Mac, the MacBooks. Um, in summary, the G5 does not work in the way that you expect it to work. I will explain that in this video. First, let me make something clear. You do not need a docking station to set up dual monitors, dual external monitors for the MacBook. Okay, as of today, which is December 17th, 2023, okay? If you do not have a docking station and you want dual screen setup, what you could do is say, if you have an HDMI cable, you can connect one HDMI cable from the monitor to say this HDMI port here on your MacBook. And then you can get another cable. In this case, it is uh, a display port cable on one end. This will go into the display port on the back of the monitor. And then uh, you see this USB-C 3 here. Obviously, this will go into the MacBook. And voila, you have dual screen setup without a dock. However, if you can see here, I have multiple external drives. Okay, I have a game controller and I have um, a card reader from my Raspberry Pi. Headphones and other stuff. Uh, so therefore, this behooves me to have the external dock. That's why I use the external dock. It is not just for dual screen. In fact, if I wanted three external monitor, I could set that up. As you can see here, I have uh, two display ports and I still have an open HDMI port. In a previous video from 2021, I, I demonstrated three external monitors using this dock. Okay, so that's why I have uh, the G2. So in regards to the G5 version of this docking station, I have never been able to get this set up to work. Okay, I have not been able to, none of my co-workers at the office have been able to, and none of my viewers have been able to get it to work. Um, so you have, if you're stuck, if you're stuck with a G5, what you could do is, I mean, if you need the, I've already explained how you don't need a docking station for dual setup, but if you have dual monitors and other peripheries, what you could do is get one of these, USB-C on one end and uh, HDMI or display port on the other, and you can connect straight from the MacBook to the back of the monitor. Um, and, then to, uh, and then you can have that work around. But if you still have the receipt for your G5, I would go and trade that in for a G2. If your company issue you the G5, then you could probably send it back and get them to issue you a G2. Otherwise, you can have, if, the, if you don't have any G2 available, then you're gonna have to have them send you one of these cables to make it work. And so, uh, yeah, so don't get the G5 for the Mac, G5 sucks. Um, with the G2, um, if I wanted to, all three external displays can be 4K. And it does charge the laptop. One more thing. So if you, you were to go to the Hewlett Packard USB-C G5 official site and you search anything about MacBook or Apple, Apple doesn't return any results. 
But MacBook, the only thing they have for MacBook under compatibility, is it says it compatible with HP laptop, MacBook computers, and other laptops. But there's a footnote here, or just a side notes here. So the note here is that it says, based on HP internal testing on select non-HP notebook models, uh, compatible with USB-C industry standard. And then it, it gives us caveat a certain alt function does not work. It doesn't say anything about dual monitors or external monitors. Um, but the report from actual user is that it, <laughs> this is support dual screen. But now you have a workaround, uh, like I've previously described. So if you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing. Thank you. Thanks for watching. See you next time.